76 for three, a tremendous batting onslaught from England, 157 in brilliant fashion from Gower, and Gooch going right through the day for 179. The bowling figures tell their own tale, but there is an oddity there. The two new boys, Gilbert and Bennett, between them bowled 44 overs, and the two strike bowlers, Lawson and McDermott, for some reason bowled only 41. But perhaps I can give you an idea of the reason, because the over rate was so slow that the game didn't finish until 46 minutes after the scheduled concluding run from 215 balls. And Gooch, the other hero of the day for England, 295 balls he faced for his 179. No runs have been added, and Lawson is coming in to bowl to Gooch. And immediately off the mark. start for number one on the board, Graham Gooch, 183. He goes to Ken Palmer, and uh, entrusted with shiny leather. The other one took a tremendous belting yesterday. Remarkable how uh, it stayed in shape. So often we see bowlers holding the ball up to the umpire and saying it's gone out of shape. Got a bit of a hump on it. Well, yesterday, if ever a ball was to do that, have been uh, in those six hours and 46 minutes. <laughs> to beat the third man into the boundary. Eight from this over, four with the old ball, four with the new. Ernest watches on the Australian balcony. second new ball was touted as being one of Australia's chances so far. But what's happened is that uh, it's gone off the bat a bit quicker than the old one. No ball call against McDermott. down the lakeside and uh, Border and the other slips were no doubt that uh, there'd been contact there and in fact it came off the glove and the no ball call against McDermott so a particularly long dagger going into the back of Alan Border he can't believe his fortune this test match and great catch going the wrong way, picked it up, Gooch is gone on 196, McDermott has three wickets now, but that was a very, very good effort, he was in his follow through away to the left and caught it down very, very low. The attempted Yorker from McDermott, low full toss, Gooch hitting it straight back and a very agile catch by McDermott. 403 for four. Gooch, caught and ball McDermott, 196, 310 balls. And I don't think I've ever seen Graham Gooch play better than yesterday. And he started off brilliantly this morning as well. 405 for four. Gooch out for a magnificent 196. Here's Lawson. And one for Lawson. A big congratulations from the team there. Dave Gilbert rushes over to say well done. And two wickets are down this morning with the second new ball. Dirk Willem, the New South Wales captain, the Sheffield Shield, the man who leads Lawson. And the night watchman, caught by Willem, 4-9. Ian 
both of them uh, not cutting loose yet, both McDermott and Lawson have bowled very well at him so far. Given him no room on the offside to play that lofted shot over the cover area. Three of the England selectors in the England dressing room. Alec Bedser partly hidden, Alan Smith and the chairman Peter May. Mike Gatting struggling with the Daily Telegraph crossword. And the fourth selector, Phil Sharp, given up altogether. The Australians, uh, they don't do much with the crossword. Mountaineering is uh, their game. And streaky four runs there, going for the uh, big drive against the outside edge. Just missing second slip, but not by much. And four sketchy runs there to Ian Botham. just with the single to his name on strike yes safely pouched down at uh, deep long lane Alan Lamb goes it's another wicket for Lawson and he's out for a single Lamb 418 for six and uh, yet again we've seen the hook shot bring about the downfall of another England batsman to Downton. Downton nudging that. He'll push through mid-wicket for a single, that's enough. Sees him off the mark. Well, I'm just waiting for those two men to go back. Might be that uh, Bertham will feel he has that little bit of extra time to play the hook shot off Lawson, who's not quite the pace of McDermott. Because he's surprised if there isn't one or two on offer for him. And that's edged and gone, caught behind. Good catch there by the keeper. Lawson takes another wicket and both of them goes. Out for 12, very thick edge, good diving catch away to the right. It's 4.25 for 7. It's been very much Australia's morning. May have been just a touch of swing here. <coughs> very little if there was any, just a very wide ball. And Ian Botham's given it the kitchen sink, and Wayne Phillips has taken a clean, wide catch off an outside edge. He hasn't bowled too many of those today, but uh, when he has, they've been clipped away. McDermott hasn't strayed off line very much today, but that one's drifting down the leg side. And Downton tucks it away just in front of the square. A change of bowling now. And this is a good chance for Dave Gilbert. His first test match to perhaps pick up a wicket. Ellison. England won't be as happy with this morning's work as their excellent day yesterday. They could really have slammed the door on Australia today and put them completely out of this contest. And well done. Gilbert has his first test match wicket. And the Australians have broken through again. There's a young man who's worked hard on his Test match debut. He's taken a wicket in England of 447 for eight. Wayne Phillips, the catcher. Awesome to Edmonds. And he's beaten again. Whether he got a, a nick or not, this never really knows. The keeper's dropped it.
Well, all the slips were going up. And uh, it looks as though it must have been an outside edge from the excitement there, but it hit the heel of the hands of Wayne Phillips, the keeper, and has gone straight down. Downton, the one uh, batsman we've seen this morning who, uh, as ever, has played the quickest pretty well. Faces uh, McDermott now. And he's bowling all over the place. What a great start there for McDermott. What a good delivery, too. One of the great sights for any quick bowler there. A middle stump flattened, flying out of the ground. And it's 4.52 for nine. And uh, I'm sure McDermott would love to see this many times. Nips back, just finds that little gap, extra bit of pace, and out goes the middle stump. And whichever way you look at it, it's always going to be the same answer. This is the first ball that Les Taylor, well shielded there, has ever faced in Test match cricket. Very nice welcome. Well, that was clearly very painful. It's probably nipped off the inside edge into the inside right thigh there, and there's a nerve that runs down there, and it's just like a gun going off when it hits you in that particular position. And it, you'll need to watch that he doesn't pull that muscle when he's bowling. on that I suppose uh, it could go down as a chance well the best thing that Taylor did here was to get his feet out of the way because they might have knocked one of them off I think it was really quick awesome to Edmonds and that's going to be stroke and that's going to beat everybody over the ropes for four again and he's out this time uh, shuffled across got everything right in front and I would think little doubt there Phil Edmonds knows it and it leaves England all out for 464 so four wickets apiece for the uh, opening bowlers four for McDermott four for Lawson and Lawson's had a particularly good spell here this morning. He's taken four for 13 off just uh, 43 balls. Seven overs and uh, one ball, four for 13. And McDermott, the bright uh, new hope we've seen this year of Australian cricket with 30 wickets to his name in this series to date. And uh, a bowler like most people are convinced we're going to see a lot of and hear a lot about in the future. Well, England's innings finished some 20 minutes after lunch and they totaled 464, which was disappointing from their point of view after they had such a marvellous day yesterday. A great fight back by the Australian bowlers today. The next top score to Gooch and Gower was Downton 16 and the bowling figures reflect that in the end with Lawson and McDermott doing extremely well, 4 for 101 four for 108 and Dave Gilbert taking his very first wicket in test match cricket. Now the Australian inning started with Wood and Hilditch. We pick up play now with three runs on the board. It's the fourth ball of the first over. Ian Botham is coming in the bowl to Graham Wood. Well, that's the hook shot. He's gone for it and we'll collect four. Now he's uh, turning a long leg, it's not where he felt he might have been. It's a wide area to cover there for one guy. Well, I think one might have to put that down to Paul Downton, even though Embury in the end was the one who dropped it. 
think Paul was going across there in front of uh, Embury. Good ball from Botham, good edge. Downton's left glove may have obscured Embury's line of sight. But it was Embury in the end that spilled the chance. Good delivery from Botham after testing Wood out with the short stuff much further up and producing that edge. This is where Botham's such a dangerous bowler. He can get pace out of any wicket. And that's a direct hit on uh, Graham Wood. Steep rising ball. He seems to be all right. He's dusted himself off and all ready to face the next delivery. That's up. W. Wood is gone. Botham has broken through. 35 for one Australia. And a fine piece of bowling by Botham. After the bouncer, the ball pitched further up. Catching Wood in front of his stumps. Ken Palmer are judging him LBW. So Graham Wood leaves for 22. And England have their first wicket. Andrew Hilditch is to take strike to Les Taylor. Single down to Tim Robinson. So Harold Bird once again is uh, having a word with Les Taylor, and now he's had a word with David Gower, and he's told the other umpire and the batsman and the bowler. That that is an official warning. Hooked away, high again, Gooch is underneath it and he's gone. And would you believe the Hildich again falls for the free card trick. Time after time, match after match, who can blame Botham for dropping it there when so many batsmen obligingly hold out for him? Well, what prompts Hildich to go for the hook shot, I don't know, when there are two men down there waiting for the catch. He's not able to control it. Gets half a tough edge, and Graham Gooch is the boundary fielder, specifically put there. Moved a couple of times just into that spot. And uh, only Andrew Hilditch will know what thoughts went through his mind as he played that shot and as he saw it soaring away towards Graham Gooch way down there at long leg. There were four more runs added up to the T interval, but uh, it took six overs for those four to be added. Here's the fifth ball now of uh, the first over after T. No runs have been added and John Embry is coming in. Kepa Vessels, the left-hander, is taking strike. And it's very well ball, the top spinner coming back with the arm from outside off stump. And Vessels trying to force away on the offside. Lovely piece of bowling from off spinner John Embry. He spun the wall away and beat Vessels the ball before. A beautiful off spinner, and this was the toppy. And also, Richie, an excellent bit of captaincy by David Gower. I thought for a long time this summer that John Embry's been looked on very much as the second fiddle, but David Gower given the, the first opportunity to use what spin there is in this pit, pitch, and Kepler Vessels, the man out, bowled by John Embry for 12, and Australia getting themselves into a bit of trouble now. That's four for border. That's the first short one John Embry has bowled. He's been bringing the batsman forward for the rest of the time.
that was what uh, Kepler Vessels was trying to do. Didn't place them as well as Border. Now, Ellison, who's had a magnificent spell from the, the Vauxhall end, swinging the ball both ways, bowls to Border. Didn't get that uh, off the middle of the bat. He just came off uh, the Q end, I think. And Bruno to Wellham. There's a full toss, which uh, should bring four very good runs for Dirk Wellham. Made the most of it. And six for three then, and... Uh, First appearance of Phil Edmonds. Replacing John Embry. Well, that's through. It's going to be four runs. And, uh, a bit of a clumsy effort there by uh, Les Taylor. He was preparing for the dive when he stumbled. So that off drive for four by Dirk Wellen brings three figures on the board. Hundred coming up. Yeah. And he's gone this time on his way without looking at the umpire. Ellison picks up his uh, first wicket from outside edge. Nicely taken by Downton, and it's 101 for four. A bit of outswing. And, uh, well, I'm just following that bit of movement. Yes, reward for Ellison for some persistent swing bowling. Very good line. He's been economical. And when the wicket comes, it was a, just a classic dismissal. And that's the way to get good players out. Peg away around their off stump. Draw them into the shot. Richards had plenty of time to look round. What a fine start. <laughs> really has had a remarkable series in the field, Phil Edmonds. He's picked up some uh, really excellent catches. And uh, serves a certain four there. Surprising here, Edmonds without a slip. So to wick it, well, the slow bowler would normally like a slip a bit quicker. And that's got through, and board is gone. He uh, just might have jabbed that one on. That's a vital wicket for England. And could, in fact, be a much winning wicket. Border goes, bowled by Edmonds. And it's 109 for five, 38 he made. 67 balls and included uh, four fours. And Border appeared to have that well covered, playing defensively on the back foot. He goes back, but it's done it quickly. That's the difference on this pitch. It's turned out of the rough and it's gone in quick, bounced a bit off the inside edge and down onto that leg stump. Just look dislodging the ball. A tall figure of uh, Wayne Phillips. It's a fine shot. Really has looked a very good player on occasions, Wayne Phillips. Beautifully uh, played there. Right on top of it. Puts it down in front of square for four. That was a good stroke from Greg Ritchie just about saved but it will still go into the record Tim Robinson the fielder great conditions again for cricket here at the Oval lovely warm sunbathing weather here's Edmonds now to bowl to Wayne Phillips four more 
It wasn't all that short. He's got a very good eye, Wayne Phillips, and that is uh, just about his favourite shot. Very lucky. Tremendous reflexes from Greg Ritchie. He even does his own fielding. be taking up ice hockey next they can take three there if they wish Richie won't bother coming back satisfied with the two away uh, a ball of full length onto the offside against the spin Wayne Phillips has gone for 18 and that's not one of his best uh, it's a stroke Wayne Phillips won't want to think about too much tonight but a very good piece of bowling from Edmonds as part of uh, a very solid looking England bowling attack 145 for six at the close of play Australia on the second evening and disappointment for them after their bowlers did so well. But England, nothing but satisfaction as far as they were concerned. Ian Botham, two for 50 and 11 overs. Edmonds has two for 28 and a wicket each to Ellison and Embury. And Taylor also bowled well, although he's wicketless on that list. The situation for Australia at the moment is that they're 319 behind at 145 for play now with just one run.